With the 10th anniversary of 9-11 just weeks away, a lot of New Yorkers had a dreaded sense of deja vu when that quake hit. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller is in Times Square for us this morning. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, folks are just now getting to work here in Midtown Manhattan, but at the close of the lunch hour yesterday, Times Square was rocking and rolling. New York City hasn't felt a quake of this magnitude in nearly 70 years. At approximately 1.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the city of New York began to shimmer and shake. And for the millions of people going about their day, an earthquake was the last thing on their mind. It was uh, a little scary, especially since everything that's gone on in New York City over the last 10 years, so you never know what's happening. Just weeks before the 10th anniversary of 9-11, it sent many scrambling for cover as New Yorkers poured out of their homes and office buildings. The building swayed at least three or four times, and I felt this is a situation where I don't want to be. What was your first thought? Getting out. I realized something happened, and I just grabbed my bag, my cell phone, and I walked down 36 flights of steps. All three New York City airports briefly suspended operations, and government buildings were temporarily evacuated. Thankfully, the NYPD, FDNY, buildings and transportation departments, and other city agencies have reported no major damage or injuries or transportation or utility service disruptions in our city as a result. A chimney collapsed in Brooklyn, and there were disruptions at a downtown courthouse. As reporters fled a news conference after the dismissal of charges against Dominique Strauss-Kahn. Miraculously, there were no serious injuries or damage in New York City or in the tri-state area. And while the eastern half of the country isn't known for high magnitude quakes, it isn't unheard of either. The last big one hit this area 67 years ago. And although rare, earthquakes are often deeper and feel stronger here on the eastern seaboard than they do on the west coast, we should note that experts tell us that folks should be on, be on alert because uh, aftershocks are likely coming in the next few days. Erica? All right, Michelle, we will brace for those. Michelle Miller in Times Square.